What's up guys? I know he just quit. Like literally just quit. But he's back. He's got another Facebook video. Somebody please help. So let's check it out. I'm very, very terrified. Because for the last five years, I've been bullied. I've been harassed. I've been shot at. I've been assaulted. My family's called the police over a hundred times this year reaching out for help because I've been getting bullied. And the one time I fire back, I get arrested for protecting myself and my family from somebody who threatened my life. Somebody who threatened to come here and do harm to my family. And yet, I'm the one to get arrested. <laughs> wow, your story is just evolving like that, huh? Because I thought they were inciting a riot and they're harassing you. But now they threatened to hurt you beforehand. It's just all bullshit. I know for a lot of you guys, I may seem calm on the outside. But on the inside, I am a fucking mess. I am bawling my eyes out every day. On the inside. It sounds like the fact that you're probably going to go to jail is really getting to you, huh? Because... I know that I did nothing wrong, but yet I'm facing a potential jail time. A potential jail sentence is what I'm facing. I'm facing potentially up to six months. If they, if they decide to convict me, even though I did nothing wrong. You know that person came here onto my property and harassed me and my family along with eight of our neighbors. You can keep saying you did nothing wrong, but that's literally why you're going to be found guilty in court, because you did something wrong. I was the one that got arrested. I can honestly say that I'm tired of this bullying. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm tired of being harassed. My family's sick of it. I'm sick of it. Like, we're tired of it. I'm tired of crying myself to sleep every night. I'm tired of wondering if I'm gonna get shot out again. I'm tired of wondering when the next person to try to do harm to me or my family is gonna show up. I'm tired of the cops having to come here to waste their time because people want to make false calls against them about us and about me and my family. And I'm tired of it. My family's tired of it. Well, it sounds like the police and your family could really use a six month break from the tornado of chaos that is Cyrax. So maybe you should go to jail. Yeah, everyone keeps telling me, you know, don't think about it, don't think about it. 
But how can I not think about it when my life is at risk? If I go to jail, I'm going to be missing out on a lot. A lot of important stuff. My birthday next month. Dude, you're going to be 33 years old. Your birthday is not an important thing to miss. I know it's literally the only important day in your entire fucking year, but it's not important. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Things that I want to do with my family. Things that I want to do with my friends. You don't have any money for gifts. You don't have any friends to go visit. You're just making up excuses why you don't want to go to jail. No one really cares about you missing a holiday in jail. It's not fair. It's not fair that the people that have attacked me don't get arrested. But yet the one time I fight back, I get arrested. The one time I fight back in pure defense of myself and my family. Because this man came to my house after after sending a message on Discord. And one of the Discord servers that, that he was going to pay me a visit. He does that, shows up here, I protect my family, but yet, I'm the one to get arrested. Where is that fair? Where is that right? Where is that okay? You want to talk about fair? What about all the children you try to get nudes from that you walked away scot-free from other than an internet lashing and people making fun of you and calling you a pedo? How about that? How's that fair? And what I want to know is why is it that when I was shot at, the police didn't want to track the person down? Or when I was assaulted, why is it that the police didn't allow me to press charges against Marty? Why? I'm tired of living in fear every day. I'm tired of being scared. I'm tired of not being able to live the life that I used to have. Now every day I live in fear. Looking over my shoulder. Constantly looking out my window to see if somebody's out there at night. Not knowing if I'm going to get shot at again or not. Always wondering if the next, if the next knock on the door is the cops coming here to arrest me on some bullshit that I had nothing to do with always wondering if my family's gonna get hurt or not you are absolutely addicted to self-pity and internet drama you couldn't even last a few hours this time after you just announced that you're quitting and you come back trying to get more fucking pity from people because you're a little fucking whiny baby who just needs to whine and whine hoping everybody feels sorry for the big baby I've basically become a prisoner in my own home because of these trolls and all these cyberbullies. I've basically become a fucking prisoner in my own home. I can't go outside and do photography like I used to. I can't shoot films like I used to. I can't shoot music videos for my music like I used to. Hell, I can't even release any music anymore without it being stolen by William Gloriel. I can't do nothing, and it fucking kills me. The things I used to do, I can no longer do. Before all this, I used to be happy. I used to be smiling all the time, having fun, enjoying myself, but now I'm, I'm always depressed, always sleeping, barely talking to anybody. Always being scared. 
I mean, it's gotten to the point where I can't even fucking show my face while I'm in the car. I literally have to lay down out of fear for my fucking life in case someone's fucking following me or my family. You're laying down in the car like you're some kind of mob boss worried about a hit on you. And you wonder why people think you're delusional. And this is no way to fucking live. This is no way to fucking live. Like I said, I want to cry tears, but I've done cry so many tears that I can't anymore. I literally have to have eye drops in my eyes. Every once in a while, or run water through my eyes, just to make sure that... And it fucking kills me. What kills me is the fact that these trolls and these cyber boys are being allowed to do this. They're allowed to get away with this, while people, good people like me, suffer. And for what? Also, they can garner views, clicks, and a few laughs, and maybe a donation or two. These people don't care about anybody. They don't care if someone gets hurt, if someone gets killed. All they care about are money, are clicks, views, and money, and that's it. They don't care about anyone's lives. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they affect. For the past month, I've done nothing but lay in my bed and bawl my eyes out. Scared, sick, worried, shitless, not knowing what's going to happen. I have been so fucking sick for the past month since all this started. You've made a video almost every day of the past month. So I don't know what you think you're doing, but you're making videos a lot for someone who's only ever laying in bed. Yeah, I have literally gotten sick and puked several times. I have been that sick to the point where I've been throwing up almost daily. Because I'm so afraid of these internet trolls and these internet bullies that I'm so afraid that I'm going to go to jail because of these fucking people that are evil. And what's worse is my public defender refuses to look at the freaking evidence that I, sh that I wanted to share with them, which are on two USB sticks. Two USB sticks to show evidence that I'm innocent. And that I was bullied. And that I was, in, that I was antagonized. But he blatantly refused to look at him. Yeah, because he's a lawyer who saw the video of you swinging a bat at a guy holding a sign and doesn't think that a little USB stick of someone bullying you is what's going to get you off about that. I just wish to God that there was an outside source that my family could turn to that would help us. Because right now we have no help. We have no one to help us. We have no outside help from any other police sources, any other, you know, higher up sources, resources. We don't have that around here. We don't know any other police department that would help us. We don't know any other FBI agencies that would help us. It's honestly amazing that the police can say you're wrong. 
The courts can say you're wrong. Your own attorney can say you're wrong. The FBI can say you're wrong. And your thought is, well, they're all wrong. I gotta find another person who'll say I'm right. I wish the fucking god that thing. I wish to god that no one would help. Cause I'm not a bad person and all you guys know that. You are a bad person. Because you keep saying I wish someone would help me get away with it. You've never once said I wish I hadn't done that. Which is what a normal person would do after being arrested for assaulting someone. I'm not a bad guy. I have been bullied and tormented for five years. All for views. That's all it's ever been about. Money and views. And I'll be honest, all I truly want at the end of the day is to get my life back that I lost that was stolen away from me. I want to get the life back that I used to have that was stolen from me. Every day I'm reliving a nightmare that I can't wake up from and it's scary. I've got tons of evidence showing how evil these people are, but it's like no one wants to see it. No one wants to hear me out. No one in the legal system will fucking listen to me. No one wants to hear me out because I was the guy that swung the bat. I was the guy that swung at somebody. But yet, no one wants to hear my side of things, or what ha or what really went down, and what caused everything. Yeah, right on the fucking money, because you're the guy who swung the bat. Because you fucked up, no one cares about your bullying anymore. And I'm tired of it. I just want someone to fucking hear me out and to be able to actually do something to help. I want someone to help me so that I don't end up in jail. So that I can still be with my family. So that I can get my life back and get the help that I need to regain my life back that was stolen away from me. Yeah, we get it. You want to get off scot-free for assaulting someone. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen usually. Five years ago, my life was stolen away by a guy named Music Biz Marty. And now my life hangs in the balance of the court. And I want to get it back. And I need help doing that. I need a lawyer or somebody higher up than the police that is willing to work with me. I can get names, I can get links, I can get, I got videos, I got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, cause you're a little snitch. I literally have two 32 gig SD, like the USB sticks, full of evidence. Packed full. 32 gigs of evidence on two USB sticks pulled full to the brim of evidence showing that I'm innocent, showing that I've been antagonized, showing the death threat, showing that I was set up. I just want someone to help me, please. I just want someone to help me to put a stop to this. Because what these people are doing isn't right. It's not okay. And it needs to stop. I need help.
Well, awesome Cyrax. I hope begging no one in particular on the internet to just help you somehow, magically, in some way, make this all go away is gonna work. But, you know, we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.